Hello ladies and gentlemen, Willie here. Yes, we're talking about this again. I know I'm sorry to bang on about it. Hopefully there are some repercussions to these potential changes and some rhythm behind the logic Blizzard are using. Drums are once again pushed to the forefront of the TBC conversation. To start off with, I am thankful that Blizzard are actually doing this and letting us know their thoughts. These changes could have been just dropped into the beta one day with zero words and left us finding this and feeling a bit, Ugh, what's going on here? But they have given us a post and here it is and it's quite a long one and I'm going to pick out certain points from it and really go over everything here. First of all, players in 2007 felt that very early versions of drums were not really worth using. They had a cast time and a very small radius. The changes made in the original patch 2.3 were aimed at specifically bolstering the value of leatherworking relative to other professions. And I couldn't for the life of me find out what the cast time used to be on drums anywhere. I don't have a perfect memory, but 0.5 seconds to a second maybe? That should have been enough. Either way, they weren't used because of this and the smaller range. So they had a profession that was kind of outdated and getting outshone by others and improved the drum items and then overnight it went to one of the worst professions to overall the best profession possible for throughput performance. Sounds like they might have overbuffed it a bit, dare I say? And the idea now is to reintroduce the smaller range, however keep it being instant cast. So they're kind of semi-nerfing it and then the greater version will be the full-on mega buff version they got later in TBC. And if they come in as 8 yards every 30 seconds, well, you know those low theb weak horrors that call out when you're on next spore? Gonna have one of those for each group, one designated stack person per group for drums, hunters remember to pull your pets off the boss so they'll be in drum radius, every boss becomes a mini game of how can we keep all five groups in reasonably close proximity to each other all the time. Back to the post. We know that many casters will feel the need to pursue tailoring and that PvP focused warriors will feel that blacksmithing is vital and so forth. I agree and there will always be meta professions, it's the nature of offering a choice. Even if it's 0.001% better, there will near always be an objectively correct decision when tailoring, unintended I guess, your character to a specific area of the game. As a warlock who wears cloth, tailoring being this for me makes sense. A warrior actively wanting blacksmithing sounds very RPG-esque to me. A rogue wanting leatherworking, yeah I can see that. A paladin wanting leatherworking, uh, but they wear plates and the profession is centered around crafting leather and male armor. That's a bit of a question mark for me. And yes there is stuff like druids going tailoring for primal mooncloth, but at least they're going to be using the item they can craft with that profession. Engineering has been all but mandatory for the entire duration of Classic for not only PvP, but PvE as well, and I love it. You know what engineering gives me as a lock? Sappers, grenades, dynamite, wormhole generators, reflectors, they're even good in PvE, some shadow resist on the twin emperors, rocket boots, the mind control cap, and so many other items that I use to a lesser degree. It provides in and out of combat benefits, and an absolute ton of them. And it's more or less always been one of the professions that I'll take as it just offers so much cool stuff. As a non-leather or mail wearer, what do I get when I get leatherworking? Drums. Okay, there's some other stuff you can make, but you can buy it all off the auction house, so it's kind of whatever. Professions are arguably at one of the strongest places ever in the Burning Crusade, and a large degree of that is down to the crafted items which abyss for so many different classes. So maybe buffing drums was never really the play that should have been made in the first place, Maybe the crafted gear would have made the profession relevant, though by Zulaman the gear starts to fall off a bit and that's the same across professions in general. Back to the post. We're looking forward to raid testing and endgame testing where we try out this pre 2.3 version of drums. If they end up still feeling mandatory in a way that makes the early phases play out very differently than the original game, we will reevaluate our design. This is very good news actually. We pretty much know at this point that raids, don't know which raids, but raids will be PTR tested, and no we don't know when either. Might be a good chance to prove a point with how the meta will look with drum stacking. Though, to be honest, if you don't have leather working at the moment, you would need to go and buy the mats for 330 leather working, or whatever you can get to with classic materials on live, copy that character to the beta, send the mats to your main, re-level a profession, then drop your secondary profession, then skin your way up the remainder of the way. Literally, nobody is going to do that. Even if the materials were stuck on a vendor for free, I'm not sure people would invest the time to do it. So hopefully testing accounts for this in some manner, so not to dodge how it will actually look in live. This also touches on the point of, it's not mandatory though, that line of thought. That's correct, it's not. Until it kind of is. 
There are a lot more guilds out there than your hyper speedrun Eurobeat playing monster downing Scandinavians or casual semi sober dads who have a kid yelling down an open mic. A lot of people just, you know, want to perform well on their character. Sure, they might not be in the best guild in the world, they might do a 2 hour 30 or 3 hour clear of knacks, but you get through the content, right? There are so many guilds that have a mix of casual show up types and then people who do want to go that extra mile with their character because that's how they enjoy playing. And they enjoy playing in the environment that their guild offers them. To say you need to drop that and find another guild which doesn't care about buffs or min maxing your character at all is just not really an argument. It is completely normal for people to want to get the most out of their class in a game that actively encourages competition. If I were to do a Venn diagram of guilds that don't care about performance or min maxing and a guild that aims for clean clears and self improvement, it's going to be a pretty tiny number of people in that mark. And at the same time, the game needs to protect the players from themselves to make sure that if something is meta, that it's fun or interesting to engage with. See how the honor system went in phase two with open world PvP, or even following that up with pre mating in battlegrounds throughout the remainder of Classic. Look at how frequently well buffs are dropped and coordinated at the moment as well. I don't think you need further proof that if X gives player an advantage, they will do it. Final point then, and this is why I think they have taken this initial direction on drums, which at the outset seems pretty baffling. Changes to how drums work in this later phase of Burning Crusade Classic would make the Sunwell Plateau harder or easier than it was in 2008. That would compel us to do raid tuning, which goes against our goal of establishing as much authenticity as possible. The changes the community have been pushing are all focused around reducing the number of players who are required to take leatherworking as a profession down to say 4 or 5 instead of at least 20. Whilst this maintains the power level of drums, it frees up about 4 fifths of your raid to take other professions, your jewel crafting, your enchanting, your engineering and so on. And whilst they are small benefits, they will add up when you consider 20 people. Keeping drums as are and allowing everybody else to take a different profession is kind of like nerfing raid content a bit, I guess. And I'm pretty sure they don't want that to happen, and nor do the players actually. The benefit of the doubt here is that they have run sims, and it's more than just a bit. Still, even with pre nerf raid content, our 2.43 class tuning, shared seals and so on, would make much more of a raid wide difference, I'm certain. And to go back even more to BlizzCon, when I first heard this, you've got to do something about those drums and uh and we looked into it and yeah there is we definitely want to make some change there yeah. uh we want to adjust them in some way so it doesn't feel like everybody who wants to be uh like maximally you know opti optimize their output has to go leather work leather working that feels bad everybody has to have leather working to do that it's like okay well that's ridiculous so we're, we're going to do some kind of minor adjustment there to make it so that it doesn't feel compulsory for literally everyone to do it i thought yes brian my man that's exactly the kind of adjustment that is needed but with the current suggestions it will still be fully meta to run at least 20 leather workers except more inconvenient due to the shorter range up till phase four if they weren't used back then due to their cast time and smaller range, maybe you just want to make the baseline drums actual garbage so people won't use them. Do you reckon the pre nerf drums from TBC would be used these days in Classic? Can we deal with the drum degeneracy for the last two phases only? Because I can tell you these days there will be a massively higher representation of non-top level guilds opting into drum rotations. Again, see well buffs. I'd like something along the line of what the community has been asking for, which is also basically what Brian said in that interview we just saw, but we do have raid testing at some point in the future, so please make drums easily obtainable as not to warp the results of the test, because if something like this did go live, it would be done to death by the no changes crowd and scapegoated as we can't have nice things for literally the rest of eternity. Again, it's early days, Blizzard did further clarification and I had a little more to say, so here we are. That's about it though, stay tuned for more MMO RPG percussion instrument based content coming your way. Thanks all so much for watching and listening in, and I'll see you all in the next one very soon.